All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing a quick video on the uh, PGA event this weekend. I'm probably not going to be around closer to lock, so I figured I would just do at least something quick uh, with my projections and ownerships kind of combined. And you know, just go over who my favorite plays at the various, various tiers are, and uh, at least give you a core, uh, something to work with. We did pretty well last week. We uh, got ninth in one of the single entries, which was pretty strong. And uh, let's see if we can't uh, follow up with a couple of good ones. I think I have a couple of hoodoos here, which may or may not be able to help you. Um, so let's just get into it. In the top tier, um, I do like both the top guys, uh, Rom and JT. Um, it's funny, I, I mentioned Rom and JT. I totally love, left out Scheffler. Um, I actually do have Scheffler rated below these other guys. Um, I do like Ram and Thomas the best of this 10K range. And I then I also like Fitzpatrick a little bit better than Scheffler. Um, so for me, it's Ram and Thomas pretty close. And then a decent drop to Fitzpatrick and uh, Scheffler. So let's put in Ram and Thomas up here. And that's at least a good place to start. Um, the 9K range, I actually have two kind of sort of low, not low owned, but low ish owned that look plays. Um, Canley in 9,600, I think, is extremely strong. Um, I mean, he really blew up in his last tournament. So obviously, people are kind of scared to play him, but I'm showing him at ownership of less than 15% at 9,600. I think that's pretty strong. Um, Zalatoris is going to be much more popular, probably closer to 20%. So I'm inclined to take the ownership discount on Cantlay. And the other guy in the 9K range that I do like, um, especially relative to ownership, is going to be Cam Smith. Um, I have Cam Smith currently at about 14%, and I think it's pretty reasonable for him. Uh, I like all these guys better than Morikawa, uh, and Burns and Hideki. Um, so for me, 9K range, probably Cantlay and Smith are my top two. And this is already factoring in ownership as well. Um, and in the 10K range, Rob and Thomas, my top two over there. In the 8Ks, I like a couple of guys. I'll just read them off and then I'll kind of rank them. Actually, I'll do it this way. My favorite in the 8Ks for me is going to be um, Corey Connors. Um, I want to talk about this Ryan Fox. I don't understand this quite at all. I mean, he's, um, I have him at like 20% ownership. Well, I, what, I don't get this. Oh, I see. Cause he wins all these other Irish events and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to pass on that. Uh, that's, that's just not for me. Um, I'd rather go with Connors at 8,300 and then a couple of other guys in the low 8Ks I like. I like Max Homa, flat 8K, uh, and I like Cameron Young at 8,100. Hovland, 8,800 is very reasonable. And then um, kind of a lower own play maybe is Sun M. Sanjay M certainly makes some sense. Um, and I have him only about 10%. So uh, I like all these guys in the 8K range. Uh, Connors being my favorite, followed by Young and and, uh, and Homa and Hovland as well. Um, I, I don't, I just don't quite get the, the Ryan Fox thing. Um, and everybody else, I just don't like. Spieth, no Fleetwood, no Horschel. Um, and then you get into the 7K range where I think you have a couple of hoodoos that I can highlight here. Um, at less than 10% ownership, my favorite play in the under 8K range is going to be Keegan Bradley. Um, he just rates really strongly for me and uh, sub 10% seems to make sense. Like I like him more than Terrell Hatton, who's going to be, you know, higher owned. I have Hatton at about 12% ownership. So I much prefer Keegan Bradley to uh, Terrell Hatton. And then a couple of low owners, uh, Kirk, Chris Kirk at 7,400. I have him under 10%. Harold Varner at 6%. I see Mito Pereira at 8%, but I think he's always owned a little bit more than that. 
And then I've got some others, you know, Sebastian Munoz at 5%, Gary Woodland, Alex Noren. I like all those. I, I, I prefer those to some of the higher owned guys. Like there's guys like Aaron Rye, who I see projected at about 12%. And I have him worse than these others. And, and likewise, I have Keith Mitchell at 7,800. I mean, I have him projected worse than the guys I mentioned. And he's going to be higher owned. So for me, I'd rather go with the lower owned plays of Keegan Bradley, uh, Chris Kirk, Varner. I don't believe in Mito ownership, but whatever, Mito. And Sebastian Munoz, Woodland, Norin. I prefer those to the chalkier Ryan Mitchell. I don't think I would play those two at all. And then the under 7Ks. Uh, don't really have much of anything. I mean, the one guy I will share with you that I do have as rated okay is Victor Perez. I mean, for whatever that's worth. Um, and that's pretty much the size of it with respect to the slate. Um, I'm not going to be able to probably post an update later tomorrow. It's possible, but I'm just going to, I'm going to be traveling. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. So let me just review um, top plays in each range. Uh, I, between Rom and Thomas, I think it's really a dead draw. So I don't really want to pigeonhole myself here. I will just say that I like those more than the others in the 10K range. Um, 9K range, uh, Cantlay and Smith are my two favorites. Cantlay, Cam Smith. 8K range, my favorite is Corey Connors. And you pick one between Homa Young and Hoblin. I have them all very similar. And M, but I think Connors are my favorite. And then 7K and below, just 7,900 below, all those guys I mentioned. So Keegan Bradley is my overall favorite on the slate. Go, go St. John's. And then really any of those guys I mentioned, such as, I mean, Hatton's okay, but Chris Kirk, Varner, Mito, Munoz, Woodland, Norin, the low owned plays, not wanting to play Aaron Rye and Keith Mitchell, who are going to garner more ownership. And that's pretty much it. Again, I just wanted to give you a quick preview, at least, of, of what I'm what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to build like probably a bunch of lineups using Sabres and also, but these are the these are the guys I'm really using in my in my single entry and my bigger buy-ins. And that'll do it. Hopefully, Bobby does something a little more in depth. But worst case, at least you have this. And uh, good luck. <laughs>